Hello. We will just get ready. We'll wait for more people to come in. I'll go get my coffee and be right back. Hello. How's everybody? Who's here? Good morning, Hayden. Sorry, good evening. No worries. The video is saved separately, so you can always go back to it. Hi Ashley. Hi Parker. Yeah, Hayden, we are still a bit flexible on the time. Sometimes um we do four thirty, sometimes we do five thirty. Um I will write it down on the page so that um mommy and daddy can take a look and plan the time ahead. It's a rainy day today, but let's get get cracking on with our story today shall we okay today is the th uh it's the 13th yes today's the 13th hi charlie is it you or is it your kid all right let's see what we have today Ugh. Oh, Little Miss Princess. I was learning a bit of French with my housemates yesterday, and I learned princess in French. Very, very fancy. Hello, Anson. Time to read a book together. Like that? Yeah? That works? Yeah, okay. 
All right, today we're going to read Little Miss Princess and the Pea. My pen. Late one night last week, on her way home, the Jimmy's princess got caught in a terrible, terrible storm, and her coach got stuck in the mud. <gasps> Half the wheel got stuck in the mud. What should she do? She saw a light in the distance and decided to seek help and a bed for the night. She walked through the wind and the rain and lightning through to the house. On the way, she lost her crown. Oh no, that's little Miss Princess. How could she lose her crown? Little Miss Princess arrived at the huge house exhausted, look at her, so tired and looking very wet and bedraggled. In fact, not looking like a princess at all. She knocked on the front, the tall front doors. Who do you think, who do you think lives inside? Have a little guess. Who do you think? Have a little guess. Is that a nice guy? Or could it be some someone like Mr. Grumpy? Or Little Miss Helpful, who really tries to be helpful but isn't really helpful. Uh oh. It was Mr. Uppity's house. Mr. Uppity is the richest man in the world. He's also one of the rudest men in the world. What do you want? He demanded rudely when he opened the door. Little Miss Princess explained, I'm so sorry about my carriage. We got stuck in a storm and I'm so wet and I'm so tired. Could you be kind enough to offer me a bed for the night? I really need some sleep and, and I can't go back to my castle yet because of the storm. And then Mr. Uppity said, You're not coming in here, he bellowed. You ruin my expensive rocks. And then to Miss Princess begged, Please, can you help me? I'm so cold and tired and I just need a bed for the night, please. Go round to the back and I'll see what I can do. He said crossly, with which he, bam, he slammed the door in her face. What a rude man. Poor little Miss Princess had to stretch all the way around the house. Mr. Uppity opened the back door. Took your time, it took you long enough. You can sleep in there, he said, pointing to a cold, damp cellar. And then little Miss Princess blurted, but I'm a princess. And then Mr. Uppity snapped, you don't look like a princess. You don't even have a crown. And then the two Miss Princess explained, I lost it in the storm. Mr. Uppity replied, Yeah, a likely story. If you are a princess, then you will have to prove it to me that you really are a princess. Mr. Uppity led little Miss Princess into the enormous dining room. The dining table was vast and seated round it were some guests. Mr. Uppity explained the situation to his guests and asked for their suggestions. What do you think we should do with this princess? Mr. Bump said, Princesses are really good at dancing. Let's dance, suggested Mr. Bump. Yeah? Or what do you think would happen to Mr. Bump if he starts dancing? And of course, Mr. Bump trot on her toes and sent her flying across the floor. Bam! Uh-oh. Hopeless! Can't dance? So she possibly, she can't possibly be a princess. But is it her problem? I doubt that it's her problem. 
It's Mr. Bump who's trot on her. Princesses are really good at waving, said Mr. Tickle. Now, Little Miss Princess was very proud of her waving and loved to wave to people from her coach. But every time she raised her arm, Mr. Tickle tickled her. He tickled her so much she fell over the floor. <laughs> can't wave, can't dance, and look at her on the floor again," said Mr. Uppity impatiently. "Decidedly, not a princess." I have heard," piped up Little Miss Splendid. That princesses are very delicate, so delicate that if they sleep with even one pea under their mattress, they will wake in the morning bruised all over. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. Do you think that's going to happen? If I put a pea under your bed, would you be able to feel it? So Mister Apati went off to find a pea, and the others all trooped upstairs. Mr. Mean lifted the mattress, and Mr. Uppity placed the pea under. Mr. Mean looked at the bed. Not much of a test. This is not difficult enough," said Mr. Mean. So mean. Well, I think that's difficult enough. If I put a pea underneath your mattress, underneath your bed, you won't be able to feel it, would you? The pea would probably get squashed. So Mr. Mean said, "Not much of a test. Not difficult enough." And so, and so he said, "More mattresses." So they piled mattress after mattress after mattress after mattress after mattress after mattress and another mattress on top. So they piled so many mattress on、uh, on top of each other, one on top and another one. There are how many there? How many mattresses are there? I don't know. Let's actually count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine that I can see. Maybe there are more on the bottom. Until the mattresses almost reached the ceiling, and then the Chumish Princess climbed up on top. Good night," said Mister Uppity, and he turned out the light. Click. And then Mister Uppity went to bed. <laughs> Look at Mister Uppity. He hasn't got a mattress. Um, on his bed. Why is that? Because he gave the mattress to Little Miss Princess. Maybe it's one of the mattresses in here. Although not the sort of bed he had hoped for, there was not a bed in the house left with a mattress on it. It's all with Little Miss Princess. Mister Uppity was up very early the next day. Partly to see how the test has worked, but also because he had had a dreadful night's sleep because well he hasn't got a mattress. So Mister Uppity asked Little Miss Princess, "How did you sleep?" And then she replied, "I had a wonderful night's sleep. Ah, I knew you weren't a princess. Can't dance." Can't wave now. Can't feel the pea underneath your bed. Ah, I knew you weren't a princess," said Mister Uppity. And then Little Miss Princess beamed. And yet, I still got to sleep in your biggest and most comfortable bed. Oh," said a suddenly crestfallen Mister Uppity. And if you're going to test for princesses in the future, she added, you should use an uncooked pea, not a cooked one. <laughs> They use the cooked pea, and it gets like squashed like that. With which she lifted the mattresses and revealed a squashed pea. Mister Uppity went very, very red in the face and did not know what to say. He was so embarrassed. And little Miss Princess went home. A waste of a good pea, if you ask me," muttered Mister Mean. What do you think about this book? I feel like at the end, 
they should have like after little miss princess has gone back to her castle like she should send something back or get her crown back and come back to say hello to mr apati just to say like you didn't think i was a princess look i've got my crown on me yeah could be like that and i mean i think it would have been better if for me if i'd like a new ending to the story that's what that's what i would add like the princess came back with um like a big coach and the horses and some soldiers like bring mr apati some beautiful flowers from the garden as a token of thanks for letting her stay for one night that's what i think what do you think let me know in the comments below do you like this story all right who's up for a little bit of chat we have about i don't know five minutes before i gotta go does anybody fancy some chat what have you been doing yeah parker you like it amazing let's Take it off. All right, let's do that, shall we? Hello, guys. How are you? What have you been doing on a Saturday? Did you go out? Did you have fun? What did you do? Yeah, um, if you came in late or if you want to go back to any of the um, other stories that we've read so far, this is story number 13 that we've read and we've got 11 um, more coming your way until all the way until Christmas. Um, the videos, if you can't join in live, don't worry, the videos will be saved on um, both YouTube and Facebook so you can always go back. And have a look at it if you haven't seen it or if you want to see it again with it again with me that's totally fine just go and search it up look it up um, on the Facebook page and on YouTube yeah and then you like this one mm, this is not my favorite actually I think my favorite would still be this can you guess my favorite? I actually told you guys my favorite yesterday. I'm not sure who was there. Yes, the Parker, you were here, so weren't you? Can't remember. But this is my favorite. So far from these 13 books, this is my favorite. Love it so much. Love the little like how kind of bossy Little Miss Christmas is. She's kind of like a mom to me. And today we'll get on with uh, number 14 oh, for weekday shall we keep it at 5 30 would you like that we can do it at 5 30 for weekdays i've got a surprise though yesterday i got a package do you want to see what's in the package i've i've opened the package but the packaging is still here like I've got a big 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 package. See, it's like that. Ah, thanks, Rob. I got a I got a huge package yesterday. It's like really really thin box. It's like that. The box looks like that. We should drop it in. And then, do you want to see what's inside? Um, I, I tried filming a video, unboxing it, so maybe I will upload the video later. I haven't... Can you have a guess? What's, what was in the box? It was so exciting. A bit stressful because I didn't know what to do with what was in the box, but it was very exciting. Have a guess, what do you think was in the box, judging by the looks of the box? Judging by the words you see on the box, can you guess what was in the box?
Yeah, I have a guess, Hayden. What do you think it is? Anson, a very, very good guess. Why do you think it's a plant? Because you could see the illustration on the box, yeah? Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. One second. Ah! I ordered a little plant. What do you think it is? It is a little plant, like a real Christmas tree. And then uh, within the box, it's like pretty squashed up and fit in the box so that they can deliver it through the letter box right into the house. And when you open it, you get different packaging, like different bags. And then you just gotta like kind of assemble it yourself, put it into your little tiny pot, um, put the moss on top, Oh, the moss has dried up a bit. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do with it. If I touch it, things keep dropping. That's not good. Um, what should I do? Is that is that good looking enough, do you think? And then... And then it also is like a tiny little baby Christmas tree. But it also... But it also comes... Yeah, it's very, very small because we got a bigger one um, in the living room. So I just want like a tiny one, tiny one for um, my room. Okay, gosh, stuff starts dropping like the moss and... Okay, that's not good. I don't want to clean up. I guess I have to clean up anyways. So, but then a little tiny tree like that... Did I put too much moss on top, you think? Did I put too much moss? I want to like it. Go in there, go in there. When it first arrived yesterday, it smells like a tree. Today, not that much. It's a bit prickly. And then... But then this is like a little um, little set. It comes with some bubbles. I haven't had time to decorate it, but I will. And then I will show you guys how it looks like. So it comes with little bubbles like that. And then you've also got, um, a, you've got a clip that looks like a star. And then you've got some more ornaments, like paper ornaments for it. And then it also comes with some lights. So you can like wrap it around. Yeah, Anson, there is a little star which you can clip on. I haven't had time to decorate it, but I hope I, hope I will soon. Oh, it looks like that. And then you clip it on top, I think. Clip it on top of the tree and then, and then wrap it around. Okay, I'll do that later. I'll do that later and then I'll show you guys how it looks like in the end. What do you say? Um, I don't know. Yesterday, when I took the moss out, the moss was like a bit wet. And so I could like shape it. Now it's all dried up. If I touch it, like little bits fall down. Do you think that looks good enough? Or could I have done better? You like it? It's a tiny little tree like that. I feel like it's a little bit imbalanced, like it's tilting one side. I don't know how to do that though, like how to fix it. I'm not very good with plants. I I tried planting. I got like three plants before and they all died. It's still in the kitchen, they're, they just, they're just not happy. I don't know why, I water them, I put them by the window, let the sun in. It's just plants don't like me. Hopefully this Christmas tree will like me. Please like me, okay? Please stay with me until Christmas. I'll take really, really good care of you. Although I don't know what care could that be. You're just a tree. Do you think I need to water it? I don't need to water this, do I? I hope I don't. Because I think 
if there's a potential i might i might kill it yeah i've got some i've got some like leafy small leafy plants that are supposedly less likely to die easily but it died anyways but amazingly what happened was i look i gave it a lot of love after it started like dying i gave it so much so much love i keep, kept like taking care of it watering it every day and putting it out in the sun every day and now like new leaves like it started dying and drying up really quickly not taking any water into the soil at all and then i just started um and then i gave it so much love and then like new leaves just started emerging so I, I i was pretty happy about it but then i got a mint plant i got a parsley plant i got a coriander plant just so i can like have something to cook with yeah they all died after i used it for the first time like when the first time you got it it'll, it'll be in the pot and so you can like cut it up and use it and then after the first time it just it's just not happy can someone tell me why? I'll, sh I'll show you the plants tomorrow. I need like some plant expert to help me like, what is wrong with my herbs? Have I considered fostering local cats? I don't think so. Cause I live in a house share. Like I can't keep the cat in my room, like just in my room because it's like not enough space for the cat to like move around and and just run around because cats do that not not often but they do that and i mean it'll have to be good with everyone else in the house and like it'd be a bit weird like what if my cat walks into someone else's room and doesn't want to come out you know what i mean yeah so i'm not going to do any animals here Let's see. Who else is here? I like you as well, Hayden. What do you find strange, Hanson? What do you find strange? I think I'll probably decorate the tree either today, tomorrow, like um these couple of days uh but i will i will definitely show you guys a picture when it's done okay oh they also got something a little packet we'll see can open it You like it? Like, so now I got these ones, and I got the bubbles, and now I got these stars, and then, and then lights as well. Oh, so I think it will actually look really, really nice when it's done. But now I'm not sure if you can tell, it looks a bit like tilted. It's like tilted on one side. How can I manage it? It's like tilted onto one side. And if I move it, the dried moss will come out and I need to clean up. Well, anyway, uh, I have to go soon. But it's a lovely time to spend with you guys today. <laughs> I've got all these, little, all these like little bits on my, on my trousers, all over the floor and on my desk. Oh my gosh, I don't want a hoover. I don't want a vacuum. Okay, I need to do that, but I don't want to. All right, so um, I hope you like my Christmas tree. I hope you like the story we read today about Little Miss Princess and the Pea. Um, tomorrow we'll come back. Tomorrow we'll come back at 9.30. Is it 9? No, sorry, sorry. 9.30 for me yes tomorrow we'll come back at 5 30 in the evening for the rest of the week shall we do it for the rest of the week 
and then for the rest of the week we we'll do 9 30. perhaps a couple of times we can do some other days as well but let's do it um i'll see you guys tomorrow i will make another announcement on the page just to confirm with you guys the time but i will see you guys tomorrow have a nice rest of your evening guys bye